Trust God you had a lovely night and if you didn't, I'm believing with you that before the end of today's morning charge, the Lord will take charge of everything, everything, absolutely everything about you, about your life, about your dream life, about your sleep. Join me this morning as we dive into God's word. And before we do that, I would like us to pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you because you have made this day to benefit our lives. Father, we pray that as we go through this day, Father, we pray that your benefits shall be ours in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that as we are about to listen to your word this morning, Father, we pray that your word will benefit us. Your word will guide us. Your word will dwell richly in our lives and help us to be better persons. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name. It's 23rd of June, 2023. And we are looking into today's topic titled, Importance of Bible Memorization. And our memory verse shall be taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let's read together. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. He is faithful that promised. And our motivational quote is, Let God be your shelter. That is the secret of true security and humanity. Very deep word there. Very, very deep word. And our prophetic word, word for today is, The word of God shall not depart from your mouth all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. First, I would like us to go into, into our scripture, which is um, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11 verse 16 to 19 which reads take it to yourselves that your heart be not deceived and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them and then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you and he shut up the heaven that there be no rain and that the land yield not a fruit and lest ye perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord giveth you therefore shall ye lay up these words in your hearts and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand for they may be as front frontlets between your eyes and ye shall teach your children speaking of them when thou sittest in thy house and where thou walkest by the way and when thou liest and when thou risest up amen beloved the importance of bible memorization cannot be overemphasized Again, the importance of Bible memorization cannot be over overemphasized because the benefits are, are just too numerous. They are too numerous. It fights our sins and helps us to grow in affection for Christ. It also helps us to cultivate deep and abiding joy in the Lord who has revealed himself to us through the scripture. The method of Bible memorization is very simple. Once or twice a day, read aloud the verse or passage. As the word becomes familiar and you continue once or twice in a day until you're able to recite the verse or passage completely with confidence. Read it once or twice a day. You keep on you keep the process, you repeat it, you repeat it, and before you know what's happening, you've gotten so familiar with the word. And one benefit with this word is that it helps with your day-to-day -day communication with your colleague in your office, with your friends, with your children, with your family members. Everywhere you go, 
with these words, when these words abide in your heart, you 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 portray it wherever you go. When you teach it to your children, your children also it helps to build a community of of godly, of godly children. When you memorize these words and you pass it down, it helps to replicate the 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 the, the will of God in our society. It helps to have a godly society. When you memorize the, 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 the word of God and also replicate it. Amen. The Bible memorization helps us to dwell in the presence of the Lord daily. How? It increases our daily prayers, filling our minds with the reminder of God's promises. It reminds us throughout the days of our lives and how to live by His word. It helps us to keep away from sin withstand temptation and change our attitudes to reflect him you know while we we're growing then um while going to church you, you, you in, in church in the children class they teach us about oh you have to be able to memorize psalm 91 verse 1 to 16 and as kids then we're always wondering why this is too long this is too long how can i memorize from chapter 1 to chapter 16 and i can tell you beloved that when we started reciting it, we started with verse 1, we went on to verse 2, we went on to verse 3. And before you knew what was happening, we were able to recite uh, Psalm 91. I that dwell in the secret place of Most High shall abide under the shadow of the night. We will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of persons. We kept reciting it, reciting up till we got to chapter 16, uh, verse 16. And it became a part and parcel of us. And today, whatever situation I am going through, by the time I start reciting this, some of these scriptures we have mem I have memorized as a young child then, it helps to clear up situation. For instance, possibly maybe I'm praying to God for something, for a particular leading or in a particular direction, and I'm telling God, Father, I need to hear from you concerning this matter. Lord, I need to hear from you. What is your take on this matter? And suddenly this scriptures just pops up in your mind and it answers it gives clarity to what you are asking god about so this so these are some of the benefits of, of of the scripture of memorizing the scripture when you have dream attacks is when is is what you have learned is the bible verses that you have memorized you can't give what you don't have is the bible verses you have memorized that will help you to fight against attack in the dream is what you have learned if the, if the Bible passages you have memorized that will help you with your day-to-day -day communication wherever you find yourself. So, beloved, I want to encourage us. Take it one day at a time. You take one verse, two verse, you keep memorizing, memorizing, memorizing. Before you know what is happening, it becomes a part and parcel of you. And before you know it, in your conversation with people around you, you tend to bring in the scriptures and this mode helps us to mold a, a godly conversation with our friends with whoever we are conversing with it helps to mold our way of talking it helps to mold our it, it helps to mold our conduct you know you find some people they can't do without using using coarse words they can't do without using vulgar words they can't do without it but as a child of God, if you have memorized the scriptures and it's part and parcel of you, usage of vulgar words won't even cut across your mind. I want us to I want us to ponder on this. I want us to ponder on it. Let us take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you. It's three bottles for three dimensions. One you will drink. One for where you live. And one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! These elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries annual Water of Fire taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olugoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixer. The July edition of PMCH, Water of Fire. 
31st of July, 2023, 0700 WAT. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fast for three barrels of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Morning Charge. We are looking at importance of memorizing the scripture. And like I said earlier, the importance of memorizing the scripture cannot be over overemphasized. Number one, it gives us better understanding of who God is and his will. It helps us to experience God on a deeper level. When you memorize the scripture, it helps the Holy Spirit to bring you know, to our understanding, to our subconscious, what we have, what we have memorized and helps us to apply it in our day-to-day -day living. Hallelujah. We have um, different benefits of memorizing God's word. One, it helps us to generate faith. It helps to generate and activate our faith in God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It also helps us overcome the wicked. Revelation 3.16 says, And they overcame him by the, word of the, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Also, it also produces prosperity. You see, there's something about the word of God. It's, it's complete. You can't add, you can't subtract to it. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a divine prescription of how we are to live our lives from day one to the day we are going to take our last breath on earth. That is what the Bible encompasses. And I need you to understand that. Let's look into uh, Psalm chapter 1. Like I said, it produces prosperity. Psalm chapter 1, verse 2 to 3 says, but his, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in, the, in this law that he may take day and night, and it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, which leaves does not wither. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Its leaf does not wither. Okay? So, and also, it brings about healing. The word of God brings about healing. Isaiah chapter 53 verse, chapter 53 verse 3 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. It brings about healing. It also brings about God's protection. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 says, If God be for us, who can be against us? If the enemy comes against you in one way, you come against him in several ways. With the weapon the Lord has given us, what is this weapon? It's the weapon of the word of God. And how do you make use of this weapon? It is by memorizing the word of God is by memorizing the scripture. Romans 8, chapter 31 says, If God be for us, no man can be against us. Hallelujah. It also teaches us about God's love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 to 8 says, Beloved, let us love one another. Why? Because love is of God. It says that every for everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth not that God is love. Amen. It also helps us with our spiritual work with God. It also helps us to know, to know, uh, to to be aware about the weapons that the Lord has given unto us. And it is in this world we get to know about these weapons. For instance, in uh, in Ephesians chapter six verse twelve, it says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the spiritual wickedness of high places." So it, it makes us understand that this world we are is beyond the physical that's what the bible has made us understand no lecturer in any university no teacher in school will let you know about this will teach you about this no lecturer whatsoever will teach you about this it is only the scripture the word of god which is complete it's only the word of god is from the word of god you can get this part and this um spiritual insights to know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood you have so many people come and complain. Oh, I had this kind of dream. I don't understand what it means. Oh, let me go take parastamol. Oh, let me go have some water and I'll be fine. No, the word of God has not made us understand that. 
that is by taking water that we, we feel all right. No. The word of God has made us understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities in high places. Amen. Also, the word of God brings us to a place of repentance in Christ. It brings us to a place of acknowledgement of who we are in Christ, of the level we are in Christ. In the book of Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 says, Please search me, O Lord, and know my ways. It says, Try me, Lord, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and bring me what to the way everlasting. That's what the scripture says. And if we don't study these scriptures, there's no way we are going to know about some of these facts. There's no way we are going to know about them. Going forward, reading the Bible on a regular and consistent basis has several benefits. The Bible shows us God's character and provides us with God's revelation. It shows us God's holy character, His unchanging ways, as well as His faithful, loving character. All these are not taught in any institution. All these facts are not taught anywhere else. All these facts, whether be you, be you a, a, a professor of, of um, any, any field of your choice of um, study or career, you don't get, they, don't, they don't teach you this. You can only get it from the Word of God. You can only get it from the Word of God. And the Word of God has a, a, is an, is a, is, has a collection of instructions which we as human beings are to abide by. And if we don't abide by this, then we are just, if we don't abide by what the scripture says, then we are just um, living on our, of our own accord on earth, which shouldn't be. Because a divine instruction has been given to each and every one of us. And where can this divine instruction be found? It can only be found in the word of God. Hallelujah. I pray that as we seek to dig deeper in the word of God, this word, the Lord's word, will dwell richly in our lives and prosper us in Jesus' name. Amen. Moving forward. Memorization exercises more extensive section of our brains, more than our passive activities. And I agree with this. Not only does memorization help us to walk in holiness, it helps us to fight sin and grow in affection for Christ. How do you grow in affection for Christ when you don't even know his word? If you don't know his word, then you don't really know who he is. And if you don't know who he is, then how do you even pray to him? How do you pray to God? So it is in his word, the scripture has taught us how we come before the Father to seek his face concerning any situation we are going through. The word of God has, is, 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 is larger than life. Let me just put it that way. It's larger than life. You cannot, you cannot overuse it. You can only underuse the word of God. You can only underapply the word of God. Every situation you are going through, in every conversation you find yourself in, in any decision, there, there's, there's, there's a section in the Bible. Every part, there's a part in the Bible that addresses it. That addresses it. Is it whether you want to talk about? Where the Bible says there are times and seasons for everything on earth. So the Bible is a complete, is a complete manual. And you can't do without it because it contains the instructions via which we are to live our daily lives. So if you think you can, um, if you are listening now and you think, oh, the Bible, I don't need to study the Bible. I don't need to read the Bible. Once I just wake up in the morning, I pray and I'm fine. No. You can't live your life like that. You have to study the manual, which is the Bible the word of God hallelujah and I pray that even as we make up our mind to begin to study the word of God it will dwell in our lives in Jesus name amen let's go on a short break and we'll be right back thank you it's three bottles for three dimensions one you will drink one for where you live and one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! 
these elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the mountain of fire and miracles ministry's annual water of fire taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the general overseer, mountain of fire and miracles ministries will be ministering live from the international headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixer. The July edition of PMCH, Water of Fire. 1st of July, 2023, 0700-WAT. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fasten with three bottles of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You're welcome back. As I was saying earlier, the Word of God helps us to cultivate deep and abiding joy in God, who has lovingly revealed Himself to us through the Scripture. We might think memorization is for the general overseers, the pastors, so that it can impact on us. No! We are called to carry God's words in our hearts. That's why the book of Joshua 1 it says, For this book of the Lord shall not depart from my mouth, but I shall meditate therein day and night. We are supposed to carry the word of God in our hearts. We are supposed to dwell in it, abide in it, speak it, profess, profess it, apply, confess it in our conversations, in our daily dealings. When teaching our children, we need to use the word of God so that, you know, the Bible says that we should pass it on to the next generation. Why? So that the next generation can pass it on and on as it has been from the days of Abraham. From the days of Abraham, this word has been passed down, passed down from various um, genealogies down to this generation we are. And we are still passing it down to the next generation. So we can't, we can't overuse the word of God. It can only be underused. And I pray that we are not found in the category of those that will underuse the word of God. Amen. So when you are entrenched in worldly living or feel defeated when fighting a particular sin in your life, you are encouraged to memorize God's word. Mumble it. Rehearse it. Pray it. Seek it. Remember it. Take as much time you need every day to memorize the Word of God. The Word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It can solve any situation, any situation whatsoever. I had a personal experience with the Word of God. I had an, an attack in my dream. And in the dream, in fact, that was an experience that made me know that, oh, I am no longer a baby Christian because initially when I dream back then I, I, I in the dream I keep shouting mommy 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 daddy 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 when I have attacks in the dream but the time by the time I started growing in God's word reading God's word memorizing it speaking it confessing it, it became a part and parcel of me to the point where I had an attack in the dream and I started confessing the word of God and it worked for me it was at that point I knew, oh, I'm no longer a baby Christian that I used to be. And I, I, I think it's also, it's, that should serve as a point for us to know the level of our growth in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That's my own personal testimony. I hope to listen to you share your own personal experience about confessing, memorizing, and professing the word of God. Amen. So, um, I would like for us to pray right now as you have listened to these words. Amen. I would like for you to pray like this. Take as much time you need every day. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Father, as you have listened to your word this morning, Father, I pray that your word that has dropped in the heart of your people will begin to germinate and grow into a mighty tree. And as we begin to apply your word, Father, I pray that your word will work for us in Jesus' name. 
your word will dwell richly in our lives. It will bless our lives. It will bless the lives of people that are connected to us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like for us to pray these prayer points. Power to connect to the word of God. Fall upon my life in the name of Jesus. Power to connect to the word of God. Fall upon my life. I want you to pray. Power to connect to the word of God. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life now in Jesus' name. Power to connect to the word of God. Fall upon my life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's pray again like this. Word of the living God, envelope my life. Word of the living God, envelope my life. Pray, 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 pray. Pray about it. Word of the living God, let it envelope your life. When the word of the living God envelope your life, you find out that your, your, your conversation changes. You no longer use those vulgar words you use during while talking. Even while you're angry and you tend to start talking, you 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 apply the word of God. It becomes a part and parcel of you. Pray now. Let the word of God let it envelope your life. Let it envelope your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Satanic termites operating in my spiritual life dry up and die. Satanic termites operating in my spiritual life dry up and die in the name of jesus satanic time might operate in my spiritual life operating in my life operating in, in every aspect of my life dry up and die in the mighty name of jesus dry up and die satanic time might operating in my spiritual life dry up and die dry up and die dry up and die in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 in jesus name thank you for listening to me god bless you in jesus name and have a wonderful day god bless you Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. So wicked powers ganging up against me, scatter in seven ways, in the name of Jesus. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, beloved.